Welcome to Slickbacker's YouTube channel. I'm Steve. Today, we got a very, very easy, simple install kind of video for you. I've actually got three different things that I'm going to be showing you today, and all three of these are super easy to put on your bike. I just want to get them on camera for you so you can see that there are options out there on the market. Maybe you don't know about these products, or maybe you have seen them, but you're just were kind of on the fence about getting them until you actually saw them on a bike. So once we get them installed today, you'll be able to see what they look like on the bike, and we're actually going to be using the Rogue Light back here and our street glide so you've got a couple of different things going on here today now the first thing i want to show you is some custom derby covers from jh choppers right cnc cut milled right there at jh choppers chromed or blacked out whatever you want to do but we got our sick bagger logo added to two custom derby covers of course the chrome with the logo for the street glide and the black with the etched out logo for the road glide so when i get these switched out of course, I'll show you those as well. And I'll show you the install on the Rogue Glide because eh, it's not hard, but there is a star pattern that you need to do and torque specs that you need to use. Once again, critical fasteners around here. So there's a pattern that you need to bolt them on and there's also torque specs. So make sure that you get a service manual for your bike. So I'm gonna get this up into camera so you can see it. It's gonna be a little hard here, but this is reflective. That's Chrome, that's our new Sick Bagger logo that we just released uh, about six or seven months ago. And I thought it would be cool to go ahead and get derby covers on our bikes that have our logo on them, right? Well, what's cool about that and why I wanted to show you today is because he does make these in-house and he can do all kinds of logos. You have to have a pretty good image of your logo. The better the image, the better it's going to turn out on the derby cover, right? Now, while you're over there, make sure to check out the rest of his website, too, because he's one of the only ones that has a complete matching set of everything. Now, it's in his style. It's called the Chromeo style. We did the Chromeo floorboards and shifter pegs and brake pedal on the soft tail build. Absolutely love them. So it's that kind of style. He's got a couple of different styles, but they're his own personal style. But when I say he has everything, he has everything, right? We're talking master cylinder covers, derby covers, anything that you want, pegs, the whole works. He has everything in that style. So if you want your bike to be completely uniform, that's a place to look. Things I wanna show you today is just spark plug wires. Now we've done videos in the past on the spark plug wires, how to check them, change them, pull your plugs, check your plugs, know what you're looking for when you're looking at used plugs and know whether or not you need to change them or not. The spark plug wires that we put on the Street Glide and the Road Glide are actually just the Harley Davidson fat plug wires. They're just bigger around, they just look cooler and that's pretty much it. There's absolutely no performance enhancement done with fatter spark plug wires because the inside of that spark plug wire is the exact same size as your stock one. So on the Street Glide, it was charcoal pearl, we did orange wires and black lettering because we had orange accents on that bike and now it's set for blue so that's the ones we're changing today so today we're going to be taking the orange ones off and putting some chrome braided wires on there these look pretty cool on the bike since we got everything chromed out and we changed the color of the bike to that zephyr blue now, i don't know if you've ever heard of magnum shield but they are one of the top producers in the braided cables for harley davidson's and a bunch of other stuff too but if you're ever looking at braided cables for any of your bikes this company right here is going to come up and they make excellent excellent products now i will tell you this this is going to be one of those things that you just want you absolutely don't need it because i was not sponsored by this company and these things are expensive so i think these were like 76 dollars for two spark plug wires to put on that street glide and honey if you're watching this video i'm sorry i really really wanted these braided cables so 76 bucks later we're gonna pop them on super easy to change in a past video a couple of weeks ago we did a video for bmc chachos bnc santoro chachos they're the little colored washer things and i'll put a link to all these videos down in the description down below so you can check those out as well if you go on bmc's website you'll see that they've got like four or five different colors and then you got a little separation there and then one says hd orange the other ones are all candy colors um, I did the candy blue on the street glide and they turned out freaking awesome. I got so excited about those that I jumped back on the website and I ordered the orange ones for this sled, got them in and they are HD orange. They are not candy at all. That is bright, bright orange. So keep that in mind. But I put two of these on the road glide the day that I got them and was like, mm, nope negative that is not happening way too freaking bright now had i not been a dumbass i would have taken a little bit more time and found out that the hd orange ones were actually hd orange and not candy and then i was going to have to repowder coat them because 
you can get these raw as well. So if you have a specific color that you want to do, get them raw and then take them to your powder coater. I ended up taking mine to the powder coater and ended up getting like a copper orange color. It's probably about the closest we're going to get. It doesn't have to be an exact match, of course, but I wanted it closer than that bright, bright orange. So the copper orange is what we're going to be putting on the Rogue Light today. Now, I've already done a complete install video on these chachos, so there's absolutely no reason for me to go through all of that all over again. And I'm going to say this one more time. Make sure to get a PDF service manual downloaded before you do these because you will need the torque specs. These are all critical fasteners, so you're going to need those torque specs to put these on. So with the Street Glide stuff and the Rogue Glide stuff and the Chachos and the spark plug wires, it's all, none of these really I can get into like a really good single video. So we're just going to take all these parts today and just make a big old bowl of motorcycle potato salad and we're going to put them all in one video for you just to show you that the options are out there so let's get the camera over here i'll show you how to change the derby cover it's the same on just about every single bike so you can just watch this one and do it on your own so this is very easy to do and if you've never had this cl uh, clutch inspection cover off you're not going to lose any fluid when you take this off so i've done quite a few derby cover removals in my oil change videos and it never fails every single time somebody will be in the comments saying well my bolt was a t27 or my bolt was a t29 or my bolt was a t25 because i'll put on the screen the torque values and then mine's a t25 and then there's a star pattern that you need to do this in and it just never fails that somebody else's derby cover is different so just make sure that you check yours time so we're going to go ahead and go around this and take all the bolts out be careful a lot of times these are easy to strip so be very careful when you're taking these out. So you can see on the inside of this derby cover, it has an orange rubber gasket around it. And the reason why I'm pointing this out is because there's a couple of different ways that derby covers are made. You can have this little slot for this little orange ring right here right and you can see that slot that's cut into the back of the derby cover for an orange rubber gasket if we take our new one it's not slotted for that so that's where the paper gaskets come in now this can't really mess this up it says right there on the front towards clutch so we're going to make sure that that rubber goes towards that clutch we're going to take our rag and we're going to clean up this area real good so when you put that back in, just make sure you get it hand tight because there is a torque sequence that we have to do. And I'll show you that here in just a second. And I'll touch up these bolt heads once I get everything put back in because I like everything blacked out. So I actually just use an Advan Black uh, touch up paint pen for vivid black. And that's what I touch up the heads of those bolts with just because I don't want, uh, I don't want uh, silver bolts on there. And I'll show you how to torque it down. So like I said, there's a torque pattern that you need to do this in. And on this twin cam, the 103, it's 84 to 108 inch pounds. The star pattern is top, left bottom, right top, left top, right bottom. So one, two, three, four, five. Now, if I back this out, you can see our matching logo on our swing arm covers, and those were from Figurati Designs. We got a whole video on those as well, so I'll put the link in the description down below. So maybe you have your own logo, whatever you want to do, make sure to get up with Joel and get yourself one of these. That thing is pretty sick. So now we've got the swing arm covers and the derby cover all matching. So super easy install so far. We got the Rogue Glide off, we got the Street Glide up here, and now we're gonna put the Chrome Derby cover on here so you can actually see what it looks like on the bike. And then we're gonna swap out these orange fat plug wires over to our Magnum braided wire. So it's gonna make a big difference in the look. And if you're like me and you're always looking for that one little thing that's gonna set your bike apart from everybody else's, it's just something that's kind of rare, something you don't see all the time. Now custom derby covers aren't anything new, but I wanted to show you Jay's Chopper's work because that detail in that logo is freaking amazing. So, and something as simple as these spark plug wires 
it can set your bike apart from the rest too. Uh, I don't know how many times we've had this bike at a show and people walk by and they're just like, man, every time I walk around this bike, I see something new. There's always just, it's the little attention to detail on things that's really gonna set your bike apart. I'm gonna speed this part up here just because we have already did the black one. I'm gonna remove this uh, derby cover. I'm gonna put our chrome one on there. We're gonna wipe our greasy fingerprints off and then I'll cut the camera back on when we start on the spark plug wires. So now we're going to change the spark plug wires. Now this is fairly easy, but I'm going to show you a couple of things that you need to look for and I'll show you a little trick with a zip tie to keep this up. But the first thing I need to do is remove these spark plug huts. These are from Ciro 3D. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think that they make these anymore, but I do want to get these out of the way because I've had them on there for a while. The next thing I want to do is gain access to back here behind my horn, the bracket that actually holds the horn on. Now I've got a triple air ride center stand switch on here that's just mounted in the front of the horn, but it'll be the same whether or not you have that or not. So we want to loosen that. We want to take that acorn nut off, pull that switch off to the side. We're going to bring our horn down just a little bit. And I do have the serial 3D lights on here and stuff. So a little bit more than I'm dealing with. Now I like to use these little plastic dash tool kits. They actually make spark plug wire pullers or whatever. And if you have the Milwaukee 8, it's probably a good idea to get one of those because you've got two more up in the top that are kind of a pain in the ass to get to. But if you get one of these, you're not actually pulling on the wire. You just get underneath it and try to pop that up as you pull and it won't put so much pressure on that wire. Now on the Magna Shield, now on the Magna Shield spark plug wires, they have this little sleeve. It is clear, but hopefully I can get it in camera here and you can see it. It's got a little sticker on it so you can see where it is. That is a piece of heat shrink tubing that's already on there. You want to remove this sticker that's on here and anywhere that there's a contact point where this spark plug wire may come into contact with other metal, you want to heat shrink that tube right in that spot. Now in the chromite version like this, it does have a protective layer over it. So you're not, you don't have metal right on metal, but this is just an extra sleeve of protection. So it's just thicker. So vibrations and stuff won't rub into this. So make sure that you get that lined up. So we get this one in, we push it in, we listen for that click. So I'm going to go under my bracket. I'm not going over the top of it. And I know with all this stuff in here, it's going to be hard to see, but I'm just going to go under it. And then I'm going to zip tie up to that bracket. I'm going to bring this back and we're going to plug it in in the rear. Once again, push it in, listen for the click. Sometimes they're hard to get in there, so make sure you get it all the way in and listen for the click. Now these spark plug wires come with a very cool spark plug wire zip tie. It's not just a normal zip tie. Up here at the top, you can see the little prong that's there. That's gonna go in that hole underneath your horn bracket. So if you feel back in there, you'll feel that hole and you just snap that up in there put that around your spark plug wire and then pull it through. If you don't have these, I'm gonna show you a little trick, but we're gonna pretend this little saddlebag tether bracket is our horn bracket, right? So that horn bracket comes out, comes down like this, holds your horn on. In the top plate, there's a hole like this. So we're gonna take our zip tie and we're just gonna bend it in half. We're gonna poke it down through that hole like that. Now we have a loop at the bottom, right? We're gonna take our spark plug wire through there we're going to pull this back up and we're going to zip tie it. And what's going to happen is, is the big part of the zip tie here is going to be on top of the hole and now you've got a bracket holder. Now you just cut this off and now you've got your wire in place and you don't have to have any kind of fancy zip ties. All right, so we got this one zip tied off where we want it. Get that back in there. We'll go ahead and remove this rear one. Same way, give it a little pull pry up on that like that. Get this one on. Listen for the click. Get it plugged in. Mounted. Get our air ride switch mounted. Make sure everything is straight. Snug that down. Now what I did back here is just run a little zip tie around the two wires 
to just kind of straighten them up and keep that a little bit more uniform so that looks pretty cool it's not just like hanging and sagging out there so the only thing we have left to do i'm going to go ahead and clean these huts up while i got them off and i'll get those back on we'll see what it looks like There's one other thing I want to show you from Joel as well. If you're wondering where we get our tank badges, I get a lot of questions on the tank badges, the chrome tank badges and the blacked out tank badges on the Roguelide. You can get those from JH Choppers as well. We got two right here. I'll get them up in the camera here so you can see them. But there's a chrome one and it is pre-curved. So you can see it on the back there, nice and thick as well. Contrast cut one right here, but you can get these in several different flavors. Like I said, they are pre-curved to fit the tank. And we will be doing a separate video on these later because I get a ton of questions where people have actually bought them and then they're like, all right, well, how do I get them on here and how do I get them centered up and how do I make them look right? So we'll do a video on how we install ours, but I did want to throw it out there that you can get these through Jay's choppers as they well. They do come with double-sided sticky tape that match that entire logo, so there's nothing hanging over or anything. They're cut to fit that logo perfectly, and then you stick them on the tank. So watch for a future video on that. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, the uh, powder coating and the chachos that we did, the Magnum Shield spark plug wires, the custom derby covers from Jay's choppers, if you've got any questions on any of that stuff, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll try to help you the best that I can. I'm gonna get out of here and get myself back to work. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, as always, be safe, keep your knees in the breeze. Thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe popping up over here. And don't forget to check out the rest of the channel because we have a ton of bagger related and soft tail videos on our channel. And to get you started, maybe you can check out this one or this one. I'm not really gonna say anything else. You can just click one of those and take it over to another video.